Okay, alright, hopefully that's synced up. Hello everybody, welcome, my name is Juan John John, and you are currently staring at... Well, no, wait, we're gonna switch things up a bit. Hello, and welcome. This is VCP Rack. Uh... Why is that like that? Okay, much better. Anyways, my name is Juan John John, and this... So for those of you who don't know, I am doing a bunch of music, and uh, one of the things I'm using is the Rolly Seaboard block and the Rolly Mixer block thing, and I wanted to go over my making of of this sound you hear. So in last week's video, what I did was I used a preset noise that came with the Rolly Seaboard block set that I bought, which was just called Ominous Drone, because it was the... basically the exact sound I needed, and I couldn't make anything better. Well, for this week, I decided I wanted to make a custom noise from the start for this song. So, here is the sound I made. Now, I was tempted to go into Equator and make it there, the sort of proprietary software, that Rolly comes with, but I decided, you know what? I want to make modular noise. So why don't I use VCV Rack? So this is the noise I made with VCV Rack, and this isn't the exact noise per se, because for some reason my Rolly block, the sort of mixer, is not working correctly, so I can't really put in the noise that it's making to try and show you. Like, let me just... See? Nothing. It's not getting any of the MIDI information, which is frustrating for a number of reasons. But I'm just going to talk about what I've done here. So, this is a sort of basic patch I've made with the basic pre-installed VCV modules. And if you don't know what VCV Rack is, it is a open source fully prepared modular system in a software. It's completely free. I believe there is a paid version which makes it into a plug-in type situation which you can use in a DAW, but this is just the completely free version which I have sort of cobbled together in order to work with my Rolly Seaboard and its 5D expression, shall we say. So anyways, let me talk about what I've done here. First of all, if we go on to the software side, what I've done is if this would just, yeah. So for this, I've set it to single channel only, one through, yeah, single channel on MIDI channel one, and I've just pretty much used basic presets. That's all I've used. For the most part, VCV Rack has done everything on its side. Also, I set this to MIDI channel number 16, but that doesn't seem to be working now for some reason. The second I want to record the actual software side is in, in... Why are you yelling at me? Stop that. It just stops working. So, you know what? We're going to shift it to MIDI 15, and hey, maybe, who knows, maybe if I switch this to MIDI 15, it'll actually work. See, are you, are you going to... No, that's not what I wanted. And we... You did not just do that. You did not... You. I spent... Literally spent a half hour get, trying to get this thing to work, and now it's decided to work. Phenomenal. Lovely. You just... You're just... You're... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm... I'm okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're not... We're going to... Okay, right. Whatever. So, anyways, I set these up, and pretty much uh, what I did for this patch is I took the VCO1, which is the most musical one. It has a voltage per octave, and basically I took that, I took the voltage per octave and patched it into the MIDI to CV converter, and then I took the gate and put that into a VCA, which the VCO1 is hooked up to, because if I didn't, then... It just goes off forever. So like this, I can actually put a gate in it. And then I hook that up into a delay. And that delay, I hooked into a filter. And from there, I also have a few other things going on. So first things first, we have, you know, the 
gate and the voltage per octave and the voltage per octave information is going into here and the gate is going into ba, 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 is going into the random module and the VCA and why does this mo voltage module wait what I just realized this random module I'm not using for anything oh my god I totally intended to use that random module for something it doesn't matter, it's already been made, so we'll just ignore the random voltage module. But yeah, I had the gate information go to the random voltage module and into the VCA so that when I hit the notes, it makes a note, as opposed to always going off forever. And from there, I added ba -ba -da -da, this information right here. Where is it? There you are. This information right here, which is the... Aft, I believe that says aft. I'm not, I don't know what that. <laughs> I'm reading this text off of my computer screen, which my laptop is recording into. So, the you know, this is basically the information for how hard I'm pressing. So, what this can do is this can futz with the fork in the delay, making this sort of resonant whooshing noise. I don't know how to describe that. There's probably a technical term, but I like it, and this is how hard I press. Now, as for the slide, where I slide upwards to get that sort of higher pitch up going -ing. I am terrible at explaining things. I actually had to get a new MIDI CV thing, which allows you to assign things with MIDI Learn. That's basically where MIDI Learn, as far as I can tell, is where you hit one of these boxes. Nope, not that box. You hit the box, it goes blank, and then you press something and it adds the corresponding sort of gesture. Now, for whatever reason, attempting to use this, it only ever registers the slide. So what I've done is I've set up a single one of these for the slide, so therefore every time I hit it, depending on how high I hit it, the CV is naturally higher, which allows me to either just play the sounds like that, or like that, depending on where I hit it. And of course I can also slide upwards for funsies. So yeah, and from there we get into the MIDI mixer, which I have added to a whole bunch of stuff. So the first little module goes to the color. So I can just showcase it right here. You know, it's a bit of a subtle thing, but I feel like it adds a lot of flavor. It's really subtle, so you can't really hear it, but I really like the effect it has. And then the second we have to the mix. So let me just. Yeah, we can, if we want to be really dramatic, we can just do that. And then we have the third, which goes to the drive. And again, as you showcase, this also uses MIDI Learn, which I basically just futz with one of the sliders and it learns automatically what I want to modify as you can see there and our final little option goes to the actual mixer itself which controls the loudness of our noises we're making so yeah that's just a quick little how I made this noise completely in VCV rack using my Rolly Let me just switch over to BC to the blocks to just showcase the things. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually showcase a live view of what levels you have on the mixer, so you can't really see what I'm doing, but you can hear what I'm doing. 
So yeah, that's how I made the noise on the Rolly software side. So let's switch over to the hardware view where I will commentate over my patching and tell you what I did there. All right, hopefully this works out. And if I can just get my foot through the mess of cables to hit the stop transition. Clap. Okay, all right. This is me commenting on my patching technique on the patch from scratch video. As you can see, this is me just butting around with initially some variegate settings, the clock and such. Getting things to my liking. Yeah, I was having some technical difficulties with the variegate. Sometimes it just doesn't want to function properly. I don't know why. But as you can see, we're actually going to start the patching now. do is we're going to take cable out and we're going directly into the mother 32 then we're going to take that and we're going to begin going to put that into my mixer and if I can already tell I didn't plug that into the right part. Yes, no, I'm pretty sure I plugged that into the notes and not into the gates, so. This already is off to a phenomenal start. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I'm just staring at it. Like, what am I doing wrong? Oh god me. Past me, why? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Yep, that's me realizing my mistake. This is me putzing around with the initial noise. Really like this crackly, bubbly noise, but that's not what we end up at. switches on the basically my approach to patching has always been plug the gate in and just turn knobs until I get something interesting and yeah this is getting more closer to the noise I end up at I end up at this really dark really resonant sort of pulsing thing I was tempted to go with that whole growly thing, that almost predator-like growl. But no, in the end I go for this more ringing, resonant, bassy thing. And then... Yeah, I'm gonna start plugging that into... I plug that into the filter. And from there I'm gonna plug in both the low pass and the high pass into a VCA. And from there I'm gonna test and see which one sounds better. I go with the low pass filter, but I have in the past gotten some weird and interesting results from putting in a bassy tone like that into the hype uh, through a high pass. So we're just checking to see what's more interesting, seeing as this is going to be the basis for the song. Yep, there we go, that pulsing bass. Nope, yep, that's a horrible noise. I'm going to make the mistake of showcasing that in my song. I'm not going to remove it because I believe in leaving everything, warts and all. Oof, that's also an unpleasant noise. 
that's the thing about this filter. I really like it due to its simplicity, but you can very easily screw it up. So yeah, this is me putzing with the filter itself and also the VCA showcasing, trying to choose which sounds better, the high pass or the low pass. That's me futzing around with a few settings on the very gate. Can't hear much changing, so I'm pretty sure I just did some really minute fine adjustments in the moment. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm probably yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start patching up the actual. Nope, I'm gonna start patching up the drummer from another mother. Okay. Okay, I guess I haven't started on, I haven't decided on futzing with the melody yet, so. Yeah, I started this off, I was going to use the Mother 32 as almost another piece of percussion, but I think I rapidly switched into actually putting a melody later on, for a given definition of the term. It is really fascinating to watch me patch things after the fact. It's always weird as hell. Oh yeah, that's what I, I'm going to take the drummer from another mother and I'm actually going to put that into the muskrat because I saw that Div Kid did a video where he puts a, something through the muskrat and it made this really weird, really crunchy effect and I really liked that. So I thought that I would put my drummer, the drummer from another mother through it and see what it did to it. Just kind of maul that noise and just degrade it and futz with it and I really like the idea so I went ahead and did that. Yeah I should really find a new camera angle. Unfortunately this thing is next to my bed and I can't really have anywhere else to put it so settle for this. You know, I really, I just, I did, never really had a problem with this, but now that I'm actually trying to comment on what I'm trying to do, this is becoming increasingly annoying, just staring at my shoulder, and my shoulder staring back. Yeah, you can get some really gnarly distortions and fluctuations with the muskrat if you use it as a filter instead of a sort of just regular percussion oscillator. So yep, I'm adding some variation to the very gate. And now I believe I'm going to start adding some CV. And I'm adding some variation. Wanted that to happen a bit, a little bit less often. I'm doing the same for the Mother 32. Butting around with the CV for the Mother 32, and I think I'm finally gonna plug in a melody. See how it sounds. around with the filter. Getting a noise I like. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I just really like the 
initial melody I set with them myself for this. I don't really fuss with it much. Now from here, I'm gonna start adding some modulation. Yep, take the drummer's third. Take it from the drummer from another mother, and I believe I'm gonna patch that into maths. If I am most, I am not mistaken. And yep, into, did it go into maths? I'm pretty sure it went into maths. I hope it went into maths or I'm gonna look like an idiot. Oh no, I patched it into the ADSR module from Dreadbox. That's another module that finds a lot of use in my stuff. Just makes a nice little ADSR, which is going into the VCA to get a sort of modulation for the Mother 32's volume. Honestly, not sure if this account. Yeah, I just wanted to add some rhythmic modulation along with the drums. I believe this is called side chaining. I say I believe. I know literally nothing about musical terms besides what I picked up via osmosis, which is not much. I believe this is side chaining. It should tell you everything you need to know about me that I do not know the exact definition of side chaining, but I'm pretty sure this is it. Stare there and contemplate to the cable. And yeah, okay, yeah, I do in fact plug this into the maths. So then the maths is going to go directly into the muskrat, or possibly the drummer from another mother. into the muskrat. Ooh. Yeah, I just love the sound of distortion and glitchiness. I just, uh... Computers screaming in agony is my aesthetic. And yeah, I have another math. Yeah. I was honestly going to say I was tempted to just stop right here, because I really just like this right here. But if I'm not mistaken, yep, the very gate, I'm going to take the clock out, put it into the Mido by Mofinzi, this odd little clock multiplier and divider, which makes really cool rhythms and such. Big fan. As you can see, every two bars it goes off. So I'm going to plug that into the GMO. And the GMO is just going to make some nice phone noises. 1-800-CALL-YOUR-MUM, which is a new Mofensief module that just makes phone noises from what I can tell. And then I'm going to start futzing with it. So I'm going to take maths and use it to modulate the GMO, and then I'm going to start futzing with GMO itself to create horrendous texture of computer noises, dial-up, nonsense, really. Yep, here comes the multiplier cable. I believe we're going into maths with that. 
maps is as always a really useful module. No, yep, that was too short. I am bad at judging distances. Just adding various modulations to maul this noise and turn it into a bed of semi rhythmic chaos. phenomenal noises of a two phones fighting each other to the death. Hey, I'm adding some more modulation to the Mother 32 itself. Using good old friend maps. Oh no, wait, what I'm taking, I'm taking the LFO from Mother32, putting that into one of Maths' outputs, inputs, I mean, and then I'm taking that through its arpeggio, uh, through the, um, attenuverter, and I'm putting that into the GMO. I completely forgot I did that. Yeah, that's what's making the fluttery noise. You know, I wonder what would happen if I put a noise through the GMO. Like, if I take what I did with the drummer from Another Mother and the muskrat, and if I put it through the GMO, what would that do? I'll have to write that down and do that in my next video, possibly. But yeah, as you can see, the GMO is just kind of going off now. If I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to put that into a echo. Yes, I put that through the echo. And then I completely forget if I actually managed to, if I actually put any CV into the echo, or if I'm just going to play that like it's its own little instrument. Or maybe I'm not going to touch that at all, because there are a bunch of cables there and I got big sausage fingers. this is pretty much the end of the little tune I'm just gonna I'm just playing it for a bit to see get a good idea of how I'm gonna perform so for the most part that's just what I'm doing right here so I suppose you can enjoy this sort of beta version of the modular hardware modular bits of my performance And yeah, I can, I, I shall, okay, right, just enjoy this. 
Alright, that was me for the day. That was me commenting over my patching technique. I shall see you all later. Goodbye.